Yupaikuna urin Quechua Simipi, Numbers in Southern Quechua. Alilan Chuaka Panekuna, Manelan Kashankichis. In this presentation, we are going to take a look at the basic number system in Southern Quechua. We will talk about uh, numbers from 1 through 10, but also we will mention the way in which numbers beyond the 10th, like in the hundreds, thousands, and even in the millions, are formed in this language. In addition to this, we will talk about a little bit about the plural form kuna, the suffix for plural, and because numbers are such um, commonly used terms in different Quechua varieties in the Southern Andes, Southern Peruvian Andes, and in Bolivia, I will mention a little bit about the different ways in which these are pronounced, just to show that the unified writing is makes this diversity easier to understand and easier to grasp. Let's take a look at that. Hook, hook, one, hook woman, hook woman, one falcon. Iskai, iskai, two, iskai nyawi, iskai nyawi, two eyes. Kingsa, kingsa, three, kingsa kawalyu. King Sakawalyu, three horses. Tawa, Tawa, four. Tawa Kaira, Tawa Kaira, four frogs. Pesca, Pesca, five. Pescatiana, Pescatiana, five seats. Sohta, Sohta, six. Sohta alwirha, Sohta alwirha, six peas. Kanchis, Kanchis, seven. Kanchis punchai, Kanchis punchai, seven days. Pusach, Pusach. Eight. Pusach naranja. Pusach naranja. Eight oranges. Iskong. Iskong. Nine. Iskong puktaki. Iskong puktaki. Nine boxes. Chunka. Chunka. Ten. Chunka muñica, chunka muñica, ten dolls. Kuna, hook manta, chunka camalia. Hook, iskai, kinsa, tawa, pesca, sohta, canchis, pusa. Is con chunka. Kunan tikrampa manta. Now the other way around. Chunka is con pusa kanchis sohta pesca tawa kingsa iskai hook. Hook iskai kingsa tawa pesca sohta kanchis. Pusach is con chunka. Let's talk now a little bit about the use of plural and the Spanish influence in Southern Quechua. What we can see is that uh, the plural cuna in the examples that we use is absent when a number is used. So for all the examples that we've seen, you don't need to use cuna. So is cañawi cuna, two eyes really feels a little redundant and traditionally people tend not to use that. They only say iskaiñawi. Iskaiñawi, kimsa kawalyu, tawa laranja. It doesn't matter. So you don't have to say iskai kawalyu kuna, iskaiñawi kuna, kimsa kawalyu kuna, tawa laranja kuna. That sounds a little bit overkill in Quechua. However, some people do use it because of the influence of the Spanish. So there are many fluent Quechua speakers which, who use this, this form with cuna 
the, the, the number and then the word plus cuna, which is the plural suffix. Uh, in Bolivian Quechua, particularly in the Cochabamba region, there, is, there are two forms that tend to be used. One of them is the S suffix. So people say colloquially something like warmis, which in Cusco or in Ayacucho, the Chanca region and the Cusco region would be warmicuna. But everything, they all mean the same, women. So as you can imagine, the suffix S the S suffix comes from Spanish, like mujer, mujeres, or sorry, like hombre, hombres. You can see that that is a direct influence from Spanish into Bolivian Quechua, Cochabamba particularly. And they, also in the Cochabamba region, when the word ends with a, a consonant, such as in yachaco cuna, yachaco student, the suffix tends, goes back to the original Quechua suffix cuna. So yachaco cuna students after a consonant. So we have warmis or warmicuna, preferred warmicuna because that's the, le the least influenced by, from, by Spanish, and yachacojcuna, students in plural. So there we have quinza warmi, warmicuna, three women, women, quinza yachaco, yachacojcuna, three student, students. Beyond 10, chunga kefata, after 10, what we have is that the, the word chunka, ten, adds a unit. So literally what you're doing in Quechua is saying ten with one, or ten that has one, that has two, that has three, and that, uh, that is 11, 12, 13, and so on. So chunka hukniyo, chunka iskainiyo, chunka kinsayo. Chunka tawayo, chunka piskayo, chunka sohtayo, chunka kanchisniyo, chunka pusachniyo, chunka iskongniyo, iskai chunka, 20. So the rule is a very simple one. When you have to add units and those units end uh, with a vowel, like, for instance, uh, kinsa, tawa, pesca, sohta, and that's it. Then you add simply yoh at the end of them to mark that it is with this, cons sorry, with this uh, number, with this unit, that 10 is added to, or so that 10 gets, you know, increased. So chunka kinsayo. 13, chunka tawayo, 14, etc. But if the number ends with a consonant, then you have the rule that adds the suffix ni, a suffix that has no meaning at all, and it's simply used here to prevent two consonants coming together dangerously into the same syllable. So that's a phonological rule of Quechua, and you don't need to really... Um, well, you need to care about that because it's a fairly commonly used suffix. And in some sense, the number system can remind you that th there is this restriction that you cannot have like these two consonants together, coming together in the same syllable. So what you have is that words like uh, hook ends with a consonant, iskai ends with a consonant, the consonant y, and then... Uh, Kanchis, ending with an S. Pusach, ending with a Q. And Iskon, ending with an N. So what you're going to have is Chunka Iskaini Yoh, Chunka Kanchis Ni Yoh, Chunka Pusach Ni Yoh, Chunka Iskon Ni Yoh. So that is the combination. Pretty much what you need to use is Yoh. And then the problem comes, or the difficulty comes, if you, if the unit you are adding to the ten, to the to the to the ten, the decimal base, the ten, is something that ends with a consonant or with a vowel. So let's practice a little, a little bit, a little bit the decimal system that Quechua uses to create all their numbers, all Southern Quechua, and in fact all the Quechua languages use they use a decimal system, a ten base system. So we have uh, 15 chunka 15 
quinza chunca quinzayo. Literally 310 with 3. 33. And then you have Tawa chunca is con niyo. 49. And you have Pesca chunca piscayo. And that is, you guessed it, 55. And Sochta Chunka is Kainio. Sochta Chunka is Kainio. And that would be 62. So now let's take a look at the numbers and let's see if we, if we can trace, you know, if we can produce a Quechua form. For 28, you will have Iskai Chunka Pusagnio. For 74, you will have Kanchis Chunka Tawayo. For 86, you will have Pusak Chunka Sohtayo. And finally, for 97, the number will be in Quechua. Is Chunka Kanchis Nio. Southern Quechua is one of those languages where big numbers were used. And that is that should come as no surprise because the Inca Empire was pretty famous because of its administrative uh, outreach and how, compli how complex and well uh, developed their system of taxation and organization of a high number of population. Some accounts uh, put the number at, at 10 millions when the Spaniards uh, invaded the, the Inca Empire. So those are big numbers. Uh, for that reason, numbers like 100, Pachak, 1,000, Waranka, and million, Hunu, were used. Well, knowing that when you have to, to add units, you need the construction with Yoh, so Chunka Huk Niyo, 11, Chunka Iskai Niyo, 12, Chunka King Sayo, 13, and that it's a decimal system, so if you want to say something like 200, that would be Iskai Pachak, and 9,000 would be Iskong Waranka, then how would you say a number like 999,999? Well, you can pause the video and try to do it on your own, but the answer is this. Is con Pachak, is con Chunka, is con Waranka, is con Pachak, is con Chunka, is con Nio. That's a long number. And this is a good reason why, not surprisingly, due to the influence of Spanish, a lot of the numbers that get used in Quechua when they do transactions, when they do commerce, when they go to the market, end up being Spanish numbers. So the Quechua numbers are still in use, but still in use. But if you hear people talking about numbers of things that they deal with, you know, uh, on an everyday basis, beyond a hundred they tend to be expressed with Spanish numbers. Let's finish taking a little look at the variation that we have in Southern Quechua. Uh, perhaps you may have heard other people, maybe your instructor, or you might have uh, seen on other textbooks how numbers are written in Quechua and they show some degree of variation. However, what we have, he what we have here is that in some way, these are this variation is to be expected and in fact that's the way people speak nobody speaks the same and there are plenty of regional variations for any language and southern quechua is not an exception so if you see these regions here huancabelica being representative uh, sorry about that huancabelica being representative of the chanca region cusco and puno being representative well cusco puno and taquile being representative of the, uh, the Cusco Coliao variety, Chanca, Cusco Coliao, and then these are Bolivian varieties. What you're going to see here, with, this is the, the phonetic alphabet, so this is a little bit more technical if you're interested in this, that the pronunciations are similar, they come from the same form, but they have slightly, they, they have a slight variations from one region to another. So for the Chanka region, you, you have hook, hook, or hook, hook. And then for Cusco, you have ho, 
ho. And for Puno, they say, in Puno, they say, uk, uk. And in the Taquile Island, in the Titicaca Lake, they say something like, oh, 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 iskai. Say like, oh, iskai. In Taquile, oh, iskai, kings, kingsa, tawa, pesca. Whereas in Cusco, at least in the, the Cusco region, that's the, the region that surrounds the city of Cusco, you have ho, iskai, kingsa, tawa, Pesca, which is a pronunciation that I use during the recording of the numbers from 1 through 10. Taking a look at what they have in Bolivia, you can say that in the Cochabamba region, the number 1 is Uj, number 2 is Isque, number 3 is Kinsa, number 4 is Tawa, and number 5 is Pesca, Pesca. Or pesca, something like that. But that is not the only way they pronounce the numbers in Bolivia. You have like in, in Apolo Bamba, Apolo, northern, um, north of La Paz, if I remember well. You have Uj, Iskai, Kimsa, Kimsa, Tawa, and you have Pechka, a form that is similar to the one that is used in the Chanka region. And for that region, uh, sorry, and for that reason is that we are following a spelling in Southern Quechua. And that spelling uses the form hook, iskai, kimsa, tawa, and pechka. And that is how it's written. The same can be, the same can be seen for the, the remaining numbers. And you have sohta, sohta in Cusco. Sohta in Taquile and in Cochabamba Sohta. And the one that I want to focus on, just you know, because I guess it's it's now clear that there is variation, and these forms here are the written the standard, the writing standard for Southern Quechua. But notice how in Cochabamba the form is his on his on. Whereas in the rest of the southern region for Quechua is simply something closer to his hong is on there is some variation but you can see that there are some diversity here and there and for that reason the writing form is the most conservative one well i hope that this presentation has made clear uh, the number system from 1 through 10 how to express numbers beyond 10 using yok or ni yok depending if the uh, depending whether the uh, unit ends with a vowel, then you only add yo, but if it ends with a consonant, then you use ni yo because of a rule that Quechua needs uh, uses to keep separate two consonants that could come together in this into the same syllable. And also we took a look at the numbers beyond tenths, like hundreds, thousands, and, and even a million, but we only mentioned them by passing, not, we really didn't talk that much about that. And we also mentioned the diversity that is that happens in Southern Quechua, in the Chanka region, the Cusco region, and the Bolivia region. And we pretty much took a, uh, took a look at this diversity as a, as a good reason to stick with uh, standard orthography for this uh, Quechua, uh, for, the, for, the, for Southern Quechua. And as you might have noticed, my pronunciation has been closer to the one to that on the Cusco region. Thank you very much.